Did you know, for example, 47% of people think their partner isn't interested in hearing about their day? Correct. 75% <laughs> of Americans do a big weekly food shop every day. <laughs> and only 29% of women reach orgasm every time they have sex. I've got a tip for those women, or if they like, I could put the whole thing in. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> What do you think the nation will be talking about this year? It must be the, um, the Wimbledon final. Oh, no, no. No? Well, no. Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what's the matter with tennis? Well, I'll, be, I'll be dead honest with you. I used to play the third most boring sport known to man. <laughs> Cricket, only trumped by tennis and Formula One. <laughs> do you not like cricket? It was a means to an end. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was an incredible thing. A British man won for the first time in 77 years. And he hasn't won it since, Jimmy. Let's not let him off. <laughs> this country hasn't had a Wimbledon winner for nearly six months now, and I've had enough. <laughs> the sad thing is, it's a boring name, Andy Murray, as well, isn't it? If his name was, like, Dick Gobbler or something, then... <laughs> At least now in 50 years, when Sue Barker goes, and of course Britain hasn't had a Wimbledon men's champion since Dick Gobbler. <laughs> Just going to keep hearing Andy Murray all the time. It was weird that this whole talk about 77 years of wait is over. And yeah. actually, when he won, it was like, thought I'd feel better than that. <laughs> to me, nothing really can trump that dressage gold at the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine, you're, you're Scottish, so presumably the Andy... I am well spotted. <laughs> well, you're not, like, full-on Scottish. You're like Just the... give you a tiny bit. I can understand what you're saying. You're Scottish light. Um... OK, I'm not sure that. Now, you, what, did it mean a lot to you? That oh, Andy... absolutely. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And I think it's a shame that everybody goes on about him being doer. I don't think he is. I don't think he's, he's no, Scottish. He's... I mean, that, you he's, know... He's, he's, he's spread sunshine everywhere, isn't he? <laughs> and remember he cried. Remember he cried when he lost, and then we quite liked him because he cried. Mm. Like, no. <laughs> no, no, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. I mean, I don't. The reason I don't like tennis is because I'm left-handed, and you, you know you can't play if you're left-handed. So you can. You can't play yes, tennis. You, can. <laughs> you can't. You can't play tennis with your left hand. Yes, you can. You can do whatever you like. There's no left-handed tennis players. There is. Other than <laughs> Nadal. Uh -huh, there's no. <laughs> no. He's all right. That's his greatest trick: is making us think he's using his left hand. <laughs> if you try, if you hit the ball, if you have a tennis ball, if you've got the right hand, you hit it, it goes that way. But if you've got your left hand, you hit it, it goes behind you. You, I have to play backwards like that. Hey. There's someone shouting me where the ball's coming. That's why I, can't, I gave up. This is a stupid game. I'm with Freddie on this. Let's have a look and see if it's up there. Of course it is. Yes, in July, Andy Murray won Wimbledon for the first time. Sue Barker presented Murray with the trophy 77 years after she presented it to Fred Perry. <laughs> <laughs> All across Scotland, people stopped what they were doing to watch the historic match. They paused Braveheart, put down their crack pipes, turned off the <laughs> proclaimers and finished. <laughs> and... And finished frantically searching between their toes for a viable vein <laughs> to salute Murray's amazing victory. 